seen old notices from runaway slaves that read, caution, speaks relatively good English for a Negro, so now my own people seek to make my life miserable just because I often use words that contain more than one syllable, and no, I'm not what you call an Oreo suffering from some sort of identity crisis, and when I talk, you'll never hear me try to pronounce every single word like this. I know that the rules regarding grammar and syntax is slightly more relaxed when we kick it, and just because they call our English broke don't mean we got to fix it. But as soon as white folks started telling me that I speak well, I had to start living my life on the DL, because black folk tend to view proper English as an alternative lifestyle. Had me thinking that enunciation was an abomination in the eyes of God. Forgive me, Father, for I have conjugated in as much as I hated to break the news to my people, chose to out myself. Dialectal. Meaning I speak fluent job and job interview. So not only do I converse, but I conversate too. As familiar with the words on the SAT as I am with the lyrics of Jay-Z. So please, don't get it twisted. I was royalty way before the King's English ever existed. Don't doubt me, crown me. Dear Mama, blame this on he who is my Geppetto. He made me this way. Never hesitant to remind me of just how many strings he had to pull to get me this far. Pinocchio's one wish was my entire autobiography. My father's love always came with too many strings attached. I, too, was a puppet. Forced to wear identity crisis as a second skin told that flesh and bone were too much to ask of God. So every time I lied, my legend grew. Perhaps my biggest mistake was thinking that my life would turn out exactly like my video for Thriller. Who knew that real demons would be so difficult to choreograph? Do you know what it feels like to have the world sucker punched into you when you aren't looking? It feels like I should have called myself king much earlier. As if my concerts were a chance to see Christ's second coming firsthand. But besides the fact that we both have fathers named Joseph, I don't see any similarities. Compared to me, Christ had it easy. He was never asked to moonwalk on water, had the good fortune of being an only child, and he was only crucified once. Um, I am only writing this because my father is more likely to show up at my funeral than on my autopsy, and the truth will be a tougher pill to swallow than the ones they will find in my stomach. The angels will dust my soul for fingerprints and find evidence of your silence. Why does my last breath have to be your first clue? Did you know that every time I sang I want you back, I was referring to my childhood. Mama, tell them, tell them that my innocence is still being held hostage in a basement somewhere in Gary, Indiana, and all the money I made will never be enough to pay my father's ransom demands. Mama, I'm sorry for 
being so hell-bent on heaven. But I would rather leave as your son than stay as his 